Hi guys, Mason here, and today's video I'll be showing you how I set up my cage for my giant desert hairy scorpion, or Hadrurus arizonensis. Um, and it will help you guys if you're looking into getting this species of scorpion, or another species of desert scorpion, or if you just want to see some different types of setups there are. So, first of all, I use a mixture of both sand and eco earth. And when I first mix this substrate, uh, I'll make sure that it's all damp um, and I'll allow it to dry for about a week before getting the actual scorpion. And when it's completely dried out, you know that it should be safe for the scorpion. This is due to the this species of scorpion particularly not liking too much humidity and too much humidity will actually kill them. So I also mix in just for a sort of a nicer looking substrate and also replicate a little bit more like the desert with the different textures um, some dried mosses um, so let's get on to actually adding the pieces into the cage so you can use pieces like this of uh, driftwood and when it's actually on the ground it creates a hole here which the scorpion can actually burrow into so if you push this nice and firmly down into the actual substrate just like that and then actually with your finger, if you just dig sort of like a hole just there so that it starts a smallish area for the scorpion to get underneath and begin its burrow. Um, you can also add some pieces of cork bark. And if I put that in the other corner here and replicate the same, just start a starter cave there so it will begin to burrow inside. And you can also add rocks like this um, I'm actually gonna add this rock right in this far corner here and with large rocks like this it's important that you add other rocks just below it in order to prevent it falling onto your scorpion and potentially killing it which would not be great uh, as it will cause a loss of your pet so you can add that into the enclosure like that. You can also add some rocks sort of as centerpieces like that in order to provide areas for your scorpion to actually bask. Under what I have here is a 45 watt um, basking bulb which will keep the temperatures nice and high um, as these guys originate from sort of Arizona um, and the desert. Uh, they do like high temperatures. This generally keeps the cage on colder days about 35 degrees and on hotter days around about 40 degrees. Um, and it's important to have a deep substrate so your scorpion can actually burrow down and get out of the way of the uh, actual heat. Um, because otherwise it could actually cook your scorpion and kill it. Um, and this setup does work quite well for me. I actually add the rocks around the area. And it allows a nice basking area for it. And if you want to, uh, it's not necessary, but if you want to actually improve the actual look of the enclosure, you can add some plastic plants here just to sort of make it have a more deserty uh, look and effect. So you can add the plants in corners like this. Actually, I'm going to add this one to. The middle so it sort of looks like it's a plant growing out of the middle of this rock arrangement here there we go and I'll add this sort of splayed out one towards the back of the actual enclosure um, as that will make sort of a nice looking effect um, and then I'll add this final one just here So, I'll just get the doors on the uh, enclosure on, so when I let the scorpion go, it doesn't run. Um, and then I'll get right back to the video. So, the actual scorpion is ready to be placed into its new cage. So, as you may know, or may not know, desert hairy scorpions are a good intermediate species. So, if you want to move on to something more interesting than a emperor scorpion... And at night time and sometimes during the day, they are very active scorpion. They do like to sting, so I wouldn't advise them for handling. But if you don't want to handle them and want a cool showcase scorpion, then they are probably the right scorpion for you. So, 
we'll let this guy go into the cage and we'll leave the video running to see whether he decides to go for the actual cork bark or the nice piece of driftwood in the corner over there. So he's looking quite plump at the moment because he was actually fed a cricket last night and they will actively kill anything they can sort of grab a hold of. So as you can see right now, he's actually gone over to the cork bark in the corner and he's now beginning to actually dig in order to create a hide underneath where it will hide during the daytime hours when the actual basking bulb is on and it will come out at around about eight o'clock at night and begin to walk around the enclosure if you do keep them in your bedroom like i do you will actually hear them in the night time digging around and crawling around and they're actually quite interesting to watch and unfortunately i don't have one at the moment but if you do shine a uv black light on these guys they will actually glow under it so thanks for watching the video guys if you like the video uh, click on the like button below and subscribe to the channel for more content which I will upload every single week uh, around one to two videos a week. So thanks for watching guys.